right, friends, this is the major motivator for making this video today. I honestly did not plan it, but because of this, this tiny thing you are looking at, look at how it feels. It's 700 and something Nigerian Naira. And if you are from Anambara or elsewhere in the eastern part and you want to make good soup, one of these would not be enough, even two. That means you'll be spending about 2000 to put this particular tiny rest ingredients to make a good pot of wolfie. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am making this video today for those of you that might be coming into any of the Western world, Europe, Canada, Australia, anywhere you are flying to, hence you are entering aeroplane to fly into that country. My sister, my brother. <laughs> These are the things you need to carry along with you, especially the Nigerian recipes. And I'm going to be sharing prices of these abroad for you so that you can understand me better. You know, don't be like me. When I first arrived the UK, I came empty-handed with a handkerchief and my bag. <laughs> but meanwhile, welcome to my channel. Yes, old subscribers, I love you all. Mwah. And to my new subscribers, if today is your first time, Biko, I beg, enjoy. Hit the subscribe red button to join this channel. It's all free. You're paying no nothing for it. All right, guys. Let's get into this. I'm not calling it whole, but let's talk about this proper. So about yesterday, I went to buy some of these things in African shop. As you know, I am just fresh again into this country, the UK, for two months now. So I went back. You can actually buy all the Nigerian recipes in abroad, but not in a place like Saudi Arabia because I didn't see to buy. And if you're coming to Europe, the US, Canada, you will buy them, but they are quite expensive. Most importantly is the availability of distance to buy. But then coming in as a fresher, at least you need to get some of these things that could sustain you for about two to three months before you start buying. Remember, when you are new into a country, the most thing Nigerians don't fail to do is to convert the price of anything they are paying for. And when they convert it, they have to weigh it with the price of the, the, the products in Nigeria. They will be like, man, somebody is wasting money or something. So, guys, this is red oil. Why coming to Obodo, you will bring red oil. Yeah, I know that most often there is this restriction to bring it or to flying with liquids. Yes. But what you have to do, like I did while I was traveling to Saudi Arabia, I freeze this thing and I carried it as a frozen stuff. You know, they would also disturb you. Trust Nigerian immigration. Those ones are the dog. They will start to screen. They will still put their bag, hand to scatter your bag. Yes. After they finish... They will ask you, madam, there are liquid products in your bag. Oh, sir, hey, can you find us anything? Just tell them that, yeah, you are flying to a country where there are no Nigerian recipes. That please, they should allow you. And then bless them. I'm not saying you should bribe them. Bless them. <laughs> Tip them with 1,000, 2,000. They will let you go. The price of this small bottle you are looking at is still £2.45. This is almost like 2,000 Nigerian Naira. This size of oil you are looking at this yam here is sold according to the weight mm -hmm. this one was two pound uh 30 something pounds calculate it if i was to go to the market in nigeria and see somebody selling the size of yam my sister i would not stop but if the person dashed me i would take it but can you pay 500 naira for this in nigeria no okay this is beans and uh here the price is even here one pound ninety nine price of pounds today. That's official official price is five hundred and sixty four. Yeah. But this is a pound ninety nine, which is two pound. You can imagine that's around one thousand four hundred. See the beans, so you know food. One thousand four hundred for this small beans. <laughs> okay, oh, this is a greasy. Our Nigerian is greasy. Forget that they made in this flat. Yeah, they even wrote what it contains, energy, carbohydrate. Oh, yeah, no, no. And it's 200 grams. How much? £2.49. 
Yeah, two pound forty nine is almost two thousand naira for this. You see, see where it treats you. Mm. So the next item you should be bringing if you like abacha is this abacha. That's African salad. Yes, hundred gram, one pound sixty, almost one thousand five hundred if you convert it. One thousand five hundred. This small thing that will not be enough for two persons. Slowly, me go chop this one. Meanwhile, this used to be my favorite, but it's no longer my favorite. I don't want. I don't have favorite again. <laughs> and you bring something like this over. While I was going to Saudi Arabia three years ago, I actually dried this over a little bit because my husband is from Oware and he's li he likes some gongo oba. Unfortunately, there were no goat meat or cow leg, cow whatever to do the gongo over there. <laughs> So this is what I bought it yesterday. The price is there is two pounds, which is 1,400. Forget about the flatness, the way they do it. So you can sun dry yours, bring as much as you can, or you bring them fresh, put them in the freezer. They won't spoil. This is our Nigerian garlic. One of the things you should be considering bringing. This is one pound 10 and uh, that's 500 gram. One pound ten. See the quantity. If you like smoking, Gary, you can at least get a pence of it or two pence. And this is dried pepe. Uh, the man said this is our Cameroon pepe. It's one pound fifty. Look at the size. A pound is seven forty or seven twenty plus the fifty. So it's around one thousand five hundred. This quantity of Ose. Ose. Uh, this is our bono. Fifty gram. See the bono. You know, this person cook one pot of soup is one pound fifty about the same time. You see the quantity that's around 1500. Please bring enough of us or pour. See, you see this. This is the dried fish I bought two pound 99. Two pound 99 is all is just three pounds. Call it three pounds. So 720 times three, you know, the price that's around 2100. 2100. Now, once I will use this thing, put inside soup, or even take and do. What is it called? Plantain. Plantain porridge. Check it out. Oh, Boroko is a no go area. <laughs> so bring enough of oh, Boroko. That's the stockfish. Bring enough of them. I am advising if your wife is coming, your fiancé, your fefe, any of the fe that is coming, your spouse, let them bring enough of all these things. And it is better they pay for excess luggage, bringing all these things across, than sending them via cargo. And this is actually, I love cooking with actually one of the thickeners I use. It's 199. You see the quantity of actually, I can only use this three times or there about, or gonna, you know, it's just 199, which is 1,400. <laughs> uh, this one is Otazi leaf. I bought this yesterday. I hope it tastes like Otazi. I'm not good at buying dry vegetables, but although you go in abroad, you must have to bring them. You know, they feel so like this is one pound fifty. You know, in Nigeria, when you buy Otazi at time, Otazi 50 naira, 100 naira, you cannot even finish using them. You will dispose them. Fresh Otazi, yes. But look at this dried one. You are buying this for almost, um, this is one pound fifty. It's like 1,500 Nigerian naira. No blood. <laughs> and I've got this one, scent leaf. This one has become scentless leaf. Because I bought it the last time I went to African shop and I've used it once. Um, it's now it's supposed to be called scentless leaf. All the scent in it has vanished. So if you're coming, dry enough of all these vegetables. Oh, go. If you eat dry ogo or rat, I saw dried ogo, I saw dried or rat. They have them here, but they are expensive. So dry enough of them. They don't weigh much, you know. It could last you for three, four months before you start buying after how much that they sell in this part of the world. And uh, if you like this kind of maggie, though I don't do it, I bought it for the purpose of this. This is 75p. Yes, 75p is about 500 Nigerian naira or thereabouts. Then no cube, a satchel of it here is £3 something, £3.99 or thereabouts. That's around the 2000 plus. Yeah, buy enough of all that. I'm not asking you to buy this, but you must buy this here. <laughs> this thing now you are looking at is 50p. 50p that's half of a pound so it's about 350 if not more than 350 naira nigerian ego for one of these one corn 50p 
I'm just preparing your mind for what you will be seeing. Most importantly is that they are available for us to buy here. Yes, if they're not available, one day, hey, the thing go hungry, you said they go dry for your throat. <laughs> just like I got starved from having access to Nigerian recipes in Saudi Arabia. But it's okay, you are buying them here. This is what? Crayfish. I actually bought this. You know, these things are not available in Saudi Arabia. But while we were coming, I was lucky. I, I walked into one shop. I saw this. Uh, I bought this 10 riyal. Yes, currently 1 riyal is 150 naira. So 150 times 10. I think it should be 1,500 or thereabout. Am I right? 10 riyal. Yeah, and I bought five pack of this. I've not bought crayfish in the UK. Yes, I've not bought. But I know it's quite more expensive compared to the price I got them in Saudi Arabia. Coming to your Benge that provoked me into making this content is this ogiri. You see this tiny ogiri like this? One pound though. Hey! That is 700 and something Nigerian naira. Ogiri. If you make a phone, this will not be enough. You know that. That means you'll be adding two or three of this in your bitter leaf soup to taste like. If you make abacha self, normal abacha or wongwa, this will not be enough. I don't know why they do. This is Ogurushi. Somebody took his or her time to tie like this and put a price on it. 1,000. Ogurushi. Now, if you're coming, I want to tell you to bring Oguri. Bring Oguri. Iru in Yoruba's language. Yes, Iru. So bring Ogiri too. While I was leaving Nigeria to Saudi Arabia, I bought the one in a plastic like this, bigger than this from Oyimbo market or there about in Lagos, it lasted me for over a year plus. Yes. Bring all whatever you can bring. If you have children, you can bring dry pap, pap. You know, Akamu, we have good sunlight in Nigeria. Dry your corn across two or three days. You blend and sieve. Because here, if you see the way they say corn, as in, that's, they call it Ogi pap, the powdered one in the shops. You wouldn't even need to buy it. And all these are our relax. They are quite expensive to buy from the shop here. So bring your ogi. Dry them in powdered form. Bring, if you want to like, if you like making more and more, you can. Some dried beans. Blend and bring them across. Me, I don't, I like my more and more fresh anyway. You know. So these are just giving you the ideas on some of the African recipes that you need to be bringing along, along with you while traveling overseas. Yes, from Nigeria. And in the UK, these are some of the prices that I've just told you. They are available. But the prices is something that is shocking. When it's shaking, shaking. And when you look at the thing, if it is your favorite, it will be like, no, I don't want to chop this thing again. You might go home and start eating burger, chicken and chips, fish and chips, or fundocha. I remember fish and chicken and chips, especially the fish here. They will serve you the fish here. You'll be looking for the bone. You'll be asking them, where is the fish? You wouldn't find the fish. You wouldn't find because it's coated with flour. I don't know how they take out the bones, you know. Our Nigerian people will like our recipes and Africans are swear. So please note all these things. Package them well. Pay for excess luggage if there is need for you to pay for excess luggage. It's better than cargo in the thing. I hope this video serves and helps a lot of you. Or you share to your wife or your spouse, your friend that is coming to join you or to relocate to abroad so that they have a mind of things to come along with while coming. Yes, thank you so much for clicking to watch. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Keep coming for more content. Bye-bye for now. Cha-cha!